Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Morrison. I just wanted to come to you guys with my export settings. I thought this would be a dope little video, show you guys how I export my videos, and hopefully this can help. You know, even if it helps at least one of you guys, I think that's uh, that's a successful video in my opinion. So hopefully, you know, if you're newer to filmmaking, or even hey, if you've been doing this for a long time, and you just so happen to see something new that I'm doing that you haven't been doing, and uh, I help you out with your export settings. Make sure to drop a like on this video. But anyways, without you know, without dragging this out too far, just want to show you guys my export settings. Let's hop into Premiere Pro. Let's go, guys. Hey, all right. So we in Premiere, keeping it real simple, guys. Um, I got my vlog open from the other day. This is my vlog from uh, just literally just yesterday. It hasn't even been uploaded yet um, at the time that you guys are watching this, because I believe I'm gonna be uploading this before. But anyways, that's that's besides the point. So you guys want to hop over into your you know your files. Um, you want to go down to, I mean, this is obviously if you have a video ready to export, but even, you know, throw like a random clip in there just to practice. Um, but this is generally how I export my videos and I'm going to do 4k cause that's usually what I'm exporting, uh, my videos in, even when my videos are in 1080p, I'm exporting in 4k usually like most of the time I'm exporting in 4k and that's just because, you know, a lot of my content goes up on YouTube and YouTube, you know, when you take a, a 1080p video exported at 4k it just gives the file more information so youtube can uh, upload it i believe at a higher bit rate i believe that's correct i i don't know if i explained it correctly but usually when you you know when you take a video you export it at 4k youtube you know even though it's not really a 4k file youtube just kind of has more file size to give it um some more quality so like i said i'm not i'm not the best if you're looking for me to explain that but more or less, that's the gist of it. So export your videos at 4K if you can. I know some of you guys might not have the computer to, to be waiting that long, but if you have the resources to do so, I say do it. Just get that extra video quality in there. But yeah, so we, we wanna head over to file, head over to export. Um, you wanna just hop right into media. So this is where I usually, you know, this is where you're gonna begin. This is the little screen that you're gonna be in when you're messing around with your settings. I have my preset saved. Um, so I'm just going to click right on that 4k content preset. I'm just going to give you guys like a quick little rundown of what I, uh, what I did to save this preset. So first off, uh, you want to hop over to video. Um, obviously, like I said, export to 4k. So you want to have 3840 by 2160 right there. Um, you can, I mean, if you want it to be the same thing as your video, you can hit match source, but that's not what we're doing here. Square pixels. You want to keep that at 1.0. Um, Ooh, as I change it, we don't want to do that. Render at maximum uh, depth, definitely want to hit that. So if that's not clicked already, make sure you're hitting render at maximum depth. Use maximum qual uh, render quality. You definitely want to hit that. I sometimes hit use previews. Um, it's really up to you. Um, honestly, to this to this day, I still don't really know what it does, but I hit it sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it you know shows you the preview when it's rendering out, but I still have yet to see that in my experience. Um, frame sampling. Some people I see pick optical flow. I keep it with frame sampling, so you want to keep that the same. Um, if you head over to, excuse me, scroll down a little bit. I keep mine at, in the encoding settings, I keep mine in software encoding. Profile, I keep it at high level. Usually keep that at one point, uh, excuse me, 5.1. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, for bitrate encoding, I want you guys to put that to VBR to pass. Just do it, you know, it'll, it'll help out with your video quality. Target bit rate, um, I've been playing around with a bunch of different bit rates to see if it'll mess with my video quality. And for now, I've settled with 60 and 80. I found that that is what makes my videos come out at the highest quality is 60 and 80. So like I said, y'all could mess around with that. Y'all could kind of see what, you know, what results you guys get when you export your videos and just kind of see what type of export settings in the bit rate section um you know what what type of results it'll result in for you for me 60 80 that's what i do i usually try to keep them 20 uh bit rates apart top usually the uh the lower half of that and then the bottom is the higher half of that but like i said 60 80 that's why i get in there and then we're really good for that you know what i mean for video settings that's about it i don't really touch my audio settings i think my audio settings are good uh multiplexer i don't really touch that either but mp4 standard Captions, like I said, don't touch publish. We don't touch any of that effects. Don't really touch any of that either. Um, most of it is all in the video settings. And then you want to head over to um, see. Usually it starts off like this, I believe. 
um, as long as you set your sequence it'll be sequence in and out that's what it's going to be rendering obviously you can change your video title right there um, I already exported this video, but it would be, you know, vlog two final. So that's really about it, guys. My, my settings are pretty easy. I don't know if I missed anything, but it's really not too bad. Like I said, I render at 4K. I have VBR two pass. Um, you know, I set my bit rate, frame sampling, use maximum render quality uh, and use preview. Sometimes you don't have to hit it. Make sure you're rendering out your sequence. I um, mean, that's really about it. So, yo, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to let me know in the comments if these render settings are giving you guys better results or maybe you guys have better render settings that you think I could be using to up my quality. Like I said, this is just kind of what I've been using to export my videos and it's been doing pretty well, even with 1080p. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it like that, guys. This video doesn't need to be too long. Quick render settings video. Hopefully, you guys have found this informative. Um, like I said, I'm an up and coming filmmaker. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you guys want to see uh, more vlogs, short films, uh, other cinematic sequences. And it's been Jason, guys. I'm going to be out. Deuces.